Okay, the cartoon character today is the famous boy detective himself, Tintin, <laughs> with his wee dog Snowy, or Milou, as he's called in France. Uh, now, before we start, of course, if you haven't already subscribed, could you do that, please? And also, ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, we're going to start off at the top of Tintin's head with his quiff, his trademark quiff, which is like this. It kind of sticks up like a shark fin. See that shape there? <laughs> a raggish shark fin. And his face is kind of oval, so you bring it down like this. All right, the ears are here, but I'll carry on the oval shape coming in. Like that, going right round. The chin to there, the oval, and the ears stick out a bit like that, okay? And the eyes right in that line there, so you've got one here. They're just kind of elongated dots. And his eyebrows, just two sharp curves like that, okay? His nose, just a little shape like that. Very simple. And the mouth, his slight curve at the top, and more of a curve at the bottom, but he's, he's a nice smile. Okay, so now we move down to the neck, you see a bit of the neck there and the collar of his shirt coming in. He wears a jersey most of the time, so then you get his shoulders. Now he's standing with his arm up, so the shoulders are slightly angled like that. You get the wrinkle on his jersey, and his arm is raised like that. Coming up there, like that. And his hand, kind of open shape with his thumb there. And we went for his palm, and the line going across his fingers there, and his fingers together. Second finger longer than the other ones. Like that. I'll be outlining this in pen after I colour it, so I can always, you know, amend some of the shapes if they're not quite right. So then we have this arm coming down, it's down to his hip. His fist is kind of resting on his hip, like that. You see the knuckles? And his body's slightly angled, see that there? Coming down in that kind of angle there. Again, you get a wrinkle on his jersey. Then you get the line at the bottom of the jersey coming in here. And then you get his legs. Now, this, because of the angle he's standing at, you know, this hip is jutting out slightly, so you get that kind of shape there with the leg going back in again, down like that. And you get the creases on his trousers. And these trousers, because it's kind of 1930s, it's, it's plus fours, which are very fashionable then, kind of baggy at the bottom of that, and kind of tucked into the socks, I think. <laughs> Like that, and you see his, uh, his stocking legs coming down like that into his shoes. And you draw these kind of long, slightly long pointed shapes coming up with your shoes there with the heel. Like that. And the curve. And then this long shape coming in there. And the Laces indicated like that, okay? Uh, move down to a uh, little milieu, or snowy now. Start off with uh, his wee trademark ears. They're a bit like uh, Tintin's tuft, you know, like uh, little two little tufty ears like that, okay? And quite narrow at the top. As you come down here, you get these little eyes appearing on there. And again, like Tintin, just two little shapes like that. Of course, the nose, just below there, is that shape, with a highlight in the middle. And we draw holding a bone, so his mouth will appear with a kind of raggy shape of his mouth coming in like that, and the bone will appear coming out either side of his mouth there. Okay. And you see the bottom of his, his mouth there, his chin, okay. And his back, see it's slightly from the back, in the side rather, and then his tail again, a little tufty shape coming in there, and his four legs, one there, and his paws, and then the front 
with his chest. Come down there with his paws. Okay, you can see a bit of the back leg here, the curve of his haunch coming in like that, and then the other leg coming in like that. Okay, all right, I think we can move on to colouring this now. Okay, we're starting to paint now, and uh, start off with the colour of the quiff, which is a nice uh, yellowy ochre colour. Stronger on the yellow than the ochre, like that. Let's come down to that line there, and then you'll see a bit more on this side. Like that. Perhaps a little touch there. Alright, onto the flesh colour now. Skin tone. Now, of course, I'm colouring over my pencil lines, but I'll be outlining it all with pen at the end anyway, to sharpen it all up. Now, Tintin's face has got a couple of uh, red spots on the cheeks. So while it's still damp like that, the colour, what you do is you take a little bit of red and just spot it in there. And by spotting it like that, the outside edges will start to blend in. You can dry your brush off slightly and then just take the edges down a bit blend them in so it's not too obvious like that right jersey is a mixture of white cobalt blue and another lighter blue i just noticed by the way that i forgot to put the hands in <laughs> i'll do that once i finish the jumper Okay, I've done the jumper and the hands. I'm moving down onto the trousers now, or plus fours as they're called. So this is a, a mixture of brown and red. Um, now again, use plenty of paint on your brush. Like that, okay. And as you bring it down, towards the bottom. Keep moving that paint down and keeping it nice and wet. Like that. Okay. Right, uh, move on to the last couple of bits to do now. And those are the shoes and Snowy's bone. <laughs> okay, okay, the bone is a kind of ivory colour, like that. And the shoes, this kind of brown colour. Like that. Right, one last little thing to do, and that is the inside of Snowy's mouth with a little bit of red. Like that. Okay, I've started inking in now, and uh, outlining rather, and I've done the face, so I'll just carry on with the, the rest of the figure. Just make sure when you're outlining like that, you go with all the pencil lines, like that. And then when you finish, you can actually go with it again if you want to thicken up some of the lines. Right, just finishing off the outlines now with the pen. And now what you can do is, as I said earlier, you can maybe go over some of the lines if you want to. Just sharpen them up a little bit, you know. Like these lines down here, I think they could be a little bit heavier as they come in there. That's fine, maybe a little one here as well. Thicken that up. And down that side too. Okay. But when you do it yourself, of course you can make your own decision about it. What needs to be sharpened, what needs to be left. 
Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.